Hello everyone, I got this dresser from a thrift store for $20 a while back and I plan to flip it for a quick profit. The very first thing I do is remove all the hardware. This furniture has a pretty thick layer of dirt and dust. This will need to be cleaned up so it doesn't interfere with the durability of my finish. To do this I'm using super clean degreaser, diluted in water. I just spray it on and wipe it off with a rag. Once everything is cleaned, I get the drawers out of the way so I can strip the top. The stripper I'm using is Clean Strips Quick Strip. This is the 15 minute formula. I'll be applying it with this disposable chip brush. For my protection, I wear rubber gloves and a respirator. This stripper works really fast, especially on older finishes. All I do is apply it, let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, and the finish is ready to come off. To remove the finish, I use a scraper to get the majority of the finish off. To get the finish off the edge, I use coarse steel wool, which I can stretch out and rub around the edges. As you can see, the finish comes right off. To clean everything up, I pour a little bit of mineral spirits and then scrub it down with steel wool again, and then wipe everything off with a clean rag. The top is now fully stripped and just needs a few hours to dry before I can do a final sanding to prep it for stain. If you try to rush this step and sand before the wood is dried out, your sandpaper will shred up your wood, effectively ruining it. For now, I moved on to the drawers and repeated the same process on those. Once I finished stripping, I set everything outside so that I could speed up the drying process. I noticed some imperfections on the side, so I applied some wood filler and let that dry. After a few hours, the top and drawers were dry enough to sand. They were already pretty smooth, so I just gave them a quick pass with some 220 grit sandpaper. Just enough to knock off any of the old finish and get everything even so that when I apply my stain, everything matches. This is what the raw wood looks like once it's stripped and fully sanded, ready for stain. Now all I needed to do was repeat the same sanding process on the drawers again. Once the drawers are done, I moved on to sanding the body in preparation for paint. When doing this, I'm mostly just lightly sanding the surface while feathering out any imperfections with a little bit more pressure. The idea is to scuff up the surface of the finish so that whatever you apply over it has something better to adhere to. Once I'm done sanding, I wipe everything free of dust and then get everything situated for painting, including taping off the top. I found the easiest way to do this is to use some quality painter's tape so it doesn't come off. 
don't bother getting the cheap stuff, especially if you live in an area with high humidity. Before I apply my paint, I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum flat white spray paint as a primer. This sticks a little bit better to the wood and my paint sticks a little bit better to it. This helps ensure better durability. It also creates a seal between the tannins in the wood and my water-based paint so that they don't interact with each other causing wood bleeds or stains to come up in my finish later on. This just needs two or three thin coats with about 15 minutes to dry in between each coat. This is what the primer looks like after two coats. This is now ready to be painted. To paint this piece, I'm using Valspar's Ultra White and I'm spraying it out of my Graco Project Painter Plus Airless Sprayer. This machine puts out a lot of product but gets a lot done. I only had to apply three coats, waiting about 30 minutes in between each coat before I was ready to move on to staining the tops and the drawers. For the stain, I chose Minwax's oil-based dark walnut finish. I'll also be applying this with a disposable chip brush. Whenever I'm staining wood, I apply a liberal amount so it doesn't dry out on me. Let it sit for about 15 minutes and then wipe it off. Once I wiped it off, I thought it looked a lot better than it did before, but I wasn't sure if it was going to match the drawers, so I left this alone for now and moved on to staining the drawers. After the drawers were done, I did notice that they were darker than the top, so I applied another coat of wood stain, let it sit for 15 minutes, wiped it off again, which ended up doing the trick. Now that I'm happy with this, I'm going to move on to glazing the body. I'm using the same wood stain that I used on the top, except I'm going to be applying it in sections and wiping it off immediately so that it doesn't dry up on me. When oil-based stain dries up, it gets really tacky and sticky, making it difficult to wipe off. If you attempt to do this technique and this happens to you, simply apply more, it'll re-wet itself. This essentially gives you unlimited tries, so if you mess up, apply some more and try again until you're happy with it. After I'm done with the glazing, I let it dry for about an hour and then I'm ready to top coat. I'm using the same Graco airless sprayer and I'm spraying water-based polyurethane. This is a super fast process, especially whenever it's hot like today. I apply three thin coats. Then come back with some 320 grit sandpaper and knock down any rough spots. For my last coat, I'll spray a much thicker coat, which gives me a glass-like finish to the surface. On a day like this where it's over 100 degrees, I can top coat a piece in a little under an hour. With everything complete and dry, I put the original hardware back on. I ended up putting this piece up for sale for $300 and it sold in two days. So I paid $20 for the dresser. 
I used about $30 in supplies for a total of $50 in overhead. That leaves me with $250 profit. It took me five labor hours, five actual hours spent working on this project to complete it. That puts me at $50 an hour. Not bad. I hope you enjoyed this project. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get to see my future videos. Thanks very much to Sue for buying this piece. Like, share with your friends, and I'll see you guys later.